Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, this solution we have a raised to power m minus n, which is the same thing as a raised to power m over a raised to power n. At this here, this becomes a raised to power x over 8 square equals to 60 here. The next step, this same thing as 8 raised to power x over 8 square, that's 64, and equals to 60 over 1 here. The next step, we cross multiply 8 raised to power x times 1, same thing as 8 raised to power x, and equals to 60 times 64. Then, next step here, we take the log on both sides, as this we have log. 8 raised to the power x equals to log 60 times 64. And from here, we apply the power law of logarithm. When we have log m raised to the power p, it is the same thing as p log m. Then what we have here becomes x log 8 equals to log 60 times 64. Then from here, we divide both sides by log 8. That is, divide this side by log 8. Also divide this side by log 8. Which implies here, log 8 cancel each other here. Yeah? We have x left, which is equal to log 60 times 64 over log 8. And what we have here follows from the law of logarithm. Yeah. When we have log a times b, the same thing like log a plus log b. That is, what we have here follow this and becomes x equals to log 60 plus log 64 over log 8. Then next step here, separate this into two fractions and all that becomes x equals to log 60 over log 8 plus log 64 over log 8. Then from here, also 64 is 8 times 8, which is something at a square. That this here we have x equals to log. 60 over log 8 plus log 8 square over log 8, which implies here we apply the power of logarithm. 2 comes here, then all we have becomes x equals to log 60 over log 8 plus 2 log 8 over log 8. At this here, log 8 cancelled each other. We have 2 left here, which implies x equals to log 60 over log 8 plus 2. Then also here, 60 can be written as 4 times 15. Then what we have here becomes x equals to log 4 times 15 over log 8 plus 2. And here this also follows the log logarithm and we have x equals to log 4 plus log 15 over log 8 plus 2. That is, here also we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 4 over log 8 plus log 15 over log 8 plus 2. That is, also here 15 can be expressed as 3 times 5. All we have becomes x equals to log 4 
over log 8 plus log 3 times 5 over log 8 plus 2. And here, this here follows from the law of logarithm as well. And we have x equals to log 4 over log 8 plus log 3 plus log 5 all over log 8 plus 2 which implies here also we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 4 over log 8 plus log 3 over log 8 plus log 5 over log 8 plus 2. That is, here yeah, also 4 can be written as 2 times 2, which is 2 squared, and 8 as 2 times 2 times 2, which is 3 raised to the power 3. Then what we have here becomes x equals to log 2 square over log 2 raised to the power 3 plus log 3 over log 2 raised to the power 3 plus log 5 over log 2 raised to the power 3 then plus 2. Then also here we apply the power of log ring 2 comes here and 3 here also from here and here and what we have becomes x equals to 2 log 2 over 3 log 2 plus log 3 over 3 log 2 plus log 5 over 3 log 2 plus 2. Then here we have log 2 cancel each other and 2 over 3 left here. That is x equals to 2 over 3 plus we can write 2 first here then plus here we separate this as 1 over 3 times log 3 over log 2 then plus also here we can write this as 1 over 3 log 5 over log 2 that is here we apply change of base from when we have log a over log b this is the same thing as log a to base b that is all we have here becomes x equals to 2 over 3 plus 2 the same thing as 8 over 3 then plus here we have 1 over 3 log 3 base 2 then plus also 1 over 3 log 5 base 2 then here we can bring this together as one fraction and we write it as x equals to 3 as the SCM and we have 8 left here then plus here we have log 3 base 2 then plus here we have log 5 base 2 so here in this problem we have x equals to 8 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 all over 3. Then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. This we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 8 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 all over 3. Yeah, then what we have becomes 8 raised to power 8 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 all over 3. The minus 2 up here is it equals to 60 on this side. Then here we can bring this power together as one fraction. That is, we have 8 raised to power SCM up here is 3, and here we still have 8 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2, then minus 6 here now. Is it equals to 60 on this side?
that is yeah eight minus six that's two it is we have eight raised to the power two plus log three base two plus log five base two all over three yeah is it equals to 60 on this side? Then, here we can express 8 as 2 raised to power 3, which is raised to power 2 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 all over 3. Is it equals to 60 from here? And here, this power multiplies. 3 here comes to each other. We are left with 2 raised to power 2 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 is it equals to 60 on this side then from here we apply the part law of indices that is the law of indices when we have a raised by m plus n which is equals to a raised to power m times a raised to power n that is what we have becomes 2 squared times 2 raised to power log 3 base 2 times 2 raised to power log 5 base 2 is it equals to 60 from here then 2 square same thing as 2 times 2 that is 4 and times here this follows when we have a raised to power log b to base a which is equals to b then what we have is same thing as 3 then times here we have 5 is it equals to 60 on this side then 4 times 3, 12 times 5, that gives us 60, which is equal to 60 here. Hence, we have the left hand side equals to the right hand side. And here we conclude that x equals to 8 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 all over 3 satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos. And turn the description bell. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comments. See you next class and bye for now.